Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, guys. Hello. One, two, one, two. Can you hear me? Hello. How's it going? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay. Great. You sound different. How? Good or with, bad? With, with echo. Oh, really? Hold on. Ah, uh, you are earphone. Yeah, I'm wearing headphones. I'm Usually sorry. you use uh, headphones. Yeah, but can you hear me well? Do you understand me? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's good. Don't worry. Next year, new computer, new headphones, new everything. New Rafael. Okay. So how are you guys? Fine, teacher. Great, let me try to do something. Hopefully we don't lose the connection. Maybe this will help. Okay, one, two, one, two. We're still connected, right? Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Awesome, okay. <laughs> okay, good. So today is Monday, November 22nd. What did you do today? What's new around? Este, me escuchan. Then answer me. I had a question. Uh, Friday, we we watched a, a, a question about in the in platform. Uh, the, the last exercise has a, a, a question we answer wrong. Yeah. Uh, what what would happen with this question? Don't worry, I just reported it. Um, let's wait for them to fix it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Some mistakes on that part, but don't worry, we will fix them. We have no trouble. Okay. I hope you, everybody finished unit one. Yeah. <laughs> In my case, yeah. So what is this? This is our class number six, right? Yes. Number six. Yeah. Okay. What did you do during the weekend, guys? It's Monday. Tell me. Well, in my case, I went to Puerto La Libertad to buy shrimps. To buy fish? Shrimps. I like shrimps. Shrimps? Oh, shrimps. Shrimps. Oh my God. I love shrimps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on, on pink sauce. Okay. No. Um, so my plan. My plan for today. Okay, my plan for today <clears throat> is to make you talk, okay? We're gonna do some activities first and at the end of the class it will help you having normal conversations, okay? Uh, that's the whole idea. Because last night I had a nightmare. I couldn't fall asleep, you know, I was so tired because I spent the whole Sunday afternoon, um, cleaning the house, putting Christmas decorations, you know, and, and I had a nightmare. And that nightmare made me 
realize that I had to come back. I I fell slept. I fell slept thinking, come back, come back, come back. And I remembered how I used to be so energetic in my classes, you know, how I used to make students talk. So what we're about to do after doing the attendance is make you speak, find areas of improvement, okay? And that's what we're gonna do right now. Then we will move on with your topic and you have to speak. You cannot continue quiet in this class. We're not here to look at our faces, you know, to stay staring at each other, no. We're here to speak, so that's what we're gonna do right now. And we're gonna do it in a very simple way. But first, let's do the attendance, okay? Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Great. Carolina Ivette Romero Loelino. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Mike is not here. Okay. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Be careful. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. She's here. She's having problems. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. Juliana Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present, teacher. Okay. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. So we're going to start today with a simple question. Something so easy. Okay, that you should be able to answer by yourselves. Um, so, believe it or not. First question. First question. What do you do? every day okay that's the first question second question what does your mother do every day uh oh okay make me the first question what do you do every day every day i wake up at four or 5, 4.05 a.m. I take a quick shower. I wake up, you know, taking a shower. I leave my house and I start work at 5 a.m. Um, then I come back home at 12.30. I have lunch. Then I rest or do something in the house. And after that, I have a class from 5.30 to 7.30. Then I come here. I drive on the traffic. <laughs> Then I come here and I teach from eight to 10. Uh, then I wait for the video to upload. I do some research, you know, try to improve myself watching some videos. And then I go to bed and that's every day. That's the first question, second question. What does your mother do every day? My mom. My mom 
Her name is Rosie and she lives in Metri in New Orleans. Oh no, she doesn't live in Metri anymore. She lives in New Orleans. Uh, every day she wakes up, you know, very early and she drives to the airport where she works as a supervisor. She supervises the um, cleaning of the airport. You know, she's like the supervisor of the people who cleans the airport. She has worked, she has worked there for 14 years or so. And after that, at about four-ish, at about four-ish, she goes back um, to her house, rests for a few minutes. And sometimes she stops by, sometimes she stops by the workshop. She has a workshop a business, she repairs cars, not her, but she has some employees who repair cars in New Orleans. And then she goes back to her house, um, watches some soap opera, watches some soap opera, or she goes to church, you know, then she has dinner and she goes to bed. My mother is single, my mother is divorced. So she has the big life, okay? That's what my mother do. Okay. Now, that was an example. We're going to use a technique show, practice, okay, produce. So right now is your turn to practice. Don't stop. Don't stay here. You need to connect to the group because your classmates need a couple. Got it? Okay. Okay, sure. Let's see if we can make okay. it. Okay. Let's see if we can make it. Si los muevo de grupo es porque están con alguien que no puede enseñar su cámara o no puede interactuar. Tenemos dos o tres compañeros que tienen problemas médicos o um, similar things, right? So, okay, let's do it. Carolina, please go, let's go, let's go. Carol. Hey. There is, we are going to practice, right? Only using these two questions, right? Yeah. Okay. 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 So please tell me, what do you do every day? Uh, every day I try to, to do, try, try to work. Well, I work every day every day and I try to, to do some sport, some exercise. And, and sometimes I, sometimes I cook. And what about you? What do you do the week? Every day, well, actually I, I like to wake up early because I have to do different things in my day. And, you know, I have to work to night to five. And uh, in my, wait, in my case, in case, my case, 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 I have to work from, I have, I have to work from two. From two, from two. From nine to five. 
from nine to five. You got it. Keep going. Okay. And teacher. Uh, Roberto Luis is not here. Or, I don't know. Uh, your micro microphone. And then I, uh, I go to work and I start working at 8 a.m. What else? Uh, I check the cash flow. I send some emails and type some reports and have a meeting with my boss and call some clients and most of the time i i am quoting at 12 i have lunch then i get back at 1 1 p.m and then um Usually, um, I buy some things and then I finish working at 5 p.m. And then I came back to home and come back home. home. I come Sorry. back home. Ah, yeah, I come, come back home and I have dinner at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. and if you try if you try to find a, a work it's the most important in your life. Yeah, it's the most important. No, and for you, what is the key for when you live alone to to live happy? Uh, Why are we talking about this? Okay. <laughs> Follow the questions. <laughs> Follow the questions. Stick to the questions. Okay. And the question. Sorry. Uh, what do you do? What does your mother? My mother do every day. My mother <clears throat> live in. In the farm. My mother lives. Lives in the in, farm. In a farm. In a farm, yes. She lives alone in the farms. Yeah. Um, my mother, eh, she is. I, I, I think that I am an old man. I have a 49 years old. My mom is a is an adult an adult woman, yes, yes. An elderly. Yes, elderly. And my father, um, he he lives alone too. In in your house, okay. In their house. In their house. In their house. In their house. And my mom and only only the. The, the free life free, free life in, in in the farm free life okay I visit my I visited my mom uh, all um I I I live in my my house eight I ten uh, ten I leave my nine. house at eight yep eight a.m when I go on, I, when I go to the to my work. Okay, repeat. Eight a.m. Eight a.m. Eight a.m. Eight a.m. Eight a.m. 
Okay, 8 a.m. Okay. Yes. When there is no heavy traffic, I drive around 10 minutes. <laughs> I, I, yes, I I I live really near to near to my work. My job. Near my work, my job, and <laughs> near my job. But if there is a traffic, I but spend there around. Is, but if there is traffic, there is traffic. There's traffic. Um, I spend um, at least thirty or forty-five minutes to travel <laughs> around Stuck six traffic. kilometers. That's oh why I, I, I wait for yeah, the, it's, the it's traffic comes slower. Yeah. I That's wait for I, the traffic I, to slow down. To slow down. Okay, and you can and you can walk to to the to your job. Mm, yeah, I I can. But I <laughs> I don't do that because I have to carry my laptop, and there is a, a little yeah. dangerous yes to walk on the boulevard. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know why. <laughs> <laughs> then I I I, I arrive <clears throat> my job I um it depends in if I have a, a, a meeting you know I went to the, the to the meeting room or is if it's virtual I only connect then I work until um, 12 after I back to my home Come back to my home, uh, take a lunch, eat, eat a lunch. <laughs> I have um, lunch. I have lunch. Okay, thank you, teacher. I have lunch. Lunch. Uh, yep. And after that, I back to work on, to my job. Um, and depends. Maybe at, at six p.m. or six thirty. Sometime until seven because I how to wait for the traffic. And slow down. Slow down. Yeah, I was trying to remember. We slow down and I then I get I arrive to my home, take dinner, and prepare for staying at class with the teacher and you. Guys. Okay. Thank you. Um, I arrive home. I arrive home without right to home. to my home. I arrive uh, home. I arrive home. Okay. I arrive to my house. Okay. Good. Home to my house. That's yeah. The, the two home, ways. Home is a nombre propio. No se le agrega un artículo o posición. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, okay. House is a nombre común. Okay. Ahí sí puedo agregar artículos posesivos. Right. Okay. okay, hey, let's go with the second question, everybody. Third person, what does your mother do? Come on. Okay, but Sandra is me. Yeah, that's my yes. point. Okay. Let's do the next question to Sandra. Okay. Yes. Um, in, in my case, in the morning, I prepare my breakfast and my lunch. I work at the university. No, I work at the Francisco Gavidia University. I enter a.m. I leave at 6 p.m. My log, my lunch is one word. Uh, 1 p.m. Uh, the traffic from my work to my hopes is very complicated. It takes me to get there in the hour and 20 minutes. Is, is it's very uh, complicated. Is is how much for a semana? Is there a Monday? 
and Saturday. <coughs> Okay. Irene, uh, what does your mother do every day? Okay, my mother, um, she has uh, she has her own business. Uh, she sells clothes, and she 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 doesn't have time to to finish to finish her work because uh, she she work she works uh, independent independently como se dice independiente you just said it she works independently okay independently and as some days she she finish finishes uh, her her work at 7 or 8 pm and she, uh, she gets home later. Late. Uh, late. Ah. Or does it? <laughs> Was it difficult? Uh, the difficult is for me the vocabulary because the I know that. The difficult part? Because it's the vocabulary for me because I, I know that uh, some words uh, I don't I, I don't found some words to express my ideas usually. Mm -hmm. I can't find the words. I can find the words, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we missing anybody on the third person? What was the question, teacher? Are we missing anybody? on the third person, you know, the second question is third person. Is anybody else missing on the uh, group? Yes, Andres and Jocelyn is missing. Okay, okay, go ahead. They're missing. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, my mother is a uh, housewife. She's always taking care in, in the house with my father. Taking care of the house. Taking Taking care of the house with my father and my brother. I don't live with she, but I don't live with, with her. With her, but it's near from my house, and I always uh, uh, this near my house. Near my house, and I try to visit every day because I live near and. That's all. I love my mother. Mm -hmm. I try to visit her every day. I try to visit her every day. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. One more. Okay. Well, in my case, my mom always she wake up really early at six or seven a.m. She prepare her breakfast. She she really likes to drink avena. What do you say, avena, teacher? Oatmeal. Avena? Oatmeal. Oatmeal, yes. And then she cleaned the house. She calls my brother on the United States. And I don't know really what that she does because I don't live with her. Uh, it's the same as Andres. But her typical day is just to cook, clean her house, uh, rest. Because she lives with my sister. And he goes to bed at 8 p.m. Perfect. Remember the verse uh, of frequency go before the verb and after the subject. On negatives, they go after the auxiliary. I don't always, I don't always, or she doesn't always wake up. She always wakes up. Hmm? And what does she do? Okay. What does she does? What does she do? Okay, good job. Okay. Sorry. Let's keep going. Let's see who does it better.
Okay, okay, okay. Let's just wait for the others. Twenty seconds. Oh my God. Okay, are we back? Yes, we're all back. So let's go with this. You know the questions. What do you do every day? What does she do? What does your mother do every day? This is just a review of grammar that you should be able to use by now. It should be very simple. Okay. Let's go with Haiti. So, Heidi, you may set the pace. You may set the pace. God wants you to speak so you can set the pace that everybody will follow. Set the pace. You have a minute? Hmm. Set the pace. What do you mean by set the pace? Fija el curso. Perdón? Fijar el curso. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, fijar el curso. So, así como va a hablar Heidi, vamos a hablar todos, ¿ok? Good. I don't get it, sorry. Um, fijar el curso significa uh, fijar el ritmo que todos debemos de seguir. Set the pace. Uh -huh. And, yeah. Uh -huh. Set the pace. Excuse my dyslexia. Set the pace. Okay. Fija el curso. Es decir, fija eh, el tono de voz que vamos a ocupar. Yeah. Como vamos a hablar todos. Okay. So this is an example, guys. I know that Haiti can speak very well. So, Haiti, what do you do every day? Don't stop. One, two, three, go. Every day I wake up at 6.30, I, um, I take a shower and I comb my hair. I have a very quick uh, breakfast and I go to work at 7.30. Uh, I work until, until 12.30, but I used to come to have lunch at home, but not anymore because of the pandemic and I don't want to follow all the protocol at home. Uh, when I come to have lunch and at the end of the day, so I, I, I eat at work and I come back home usually at 7.30, 7, 7.30. So if I come at seven, I have time enough to have dinner in a calm way. But if I come at 7.30, I have to eat very fast because we have the class at eight o'clock. So I take the class from eight to 10. And after that, I watch TV. I try to watch some news. Uh, talk a little bit to my husband and then I okay hey Woo! an applause for Eddie. <laughs> that's amazing okay i don't know you but i counted 29 sentences 29 sentences in one minute that's extremely advanced that's really good that's natural english thank you haiti i didn't find any area of improvement, this is simple present. So you got it. Excellent, thank you very much. Everybody else, let's follow the pace. Let's make sure we follow the pace. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna move on with Erwin. Erwin. Erwin? Are you here? Excellent. What does your mother do every day? What is your the daily routine of your mother? What does oh. she do every day? One, two, three, 
Go. Okay. My mom lives on the farm. Yeah. She lives alone, but uh, they, she has a, a hobby, a different hobby that you can imagine. Do you remember how say, you know, the races pickups. She has a races pickups in the farm. Yeah. Do you know who is a racist pickup teacher? You want to say, Aki? Keep going, keep going. Okay, racist pickup. I will give you one example. Let me moment, please. <laughs> okay, it's going to show okay. us. Uh... Okay, okay. Uh, my mom has many animals, like with this one. Okay. Like pickups, yes. And she lives with the animals in the farm, only that. For this, the special animals in the farm, only that. She has, I think, she has eight or nine animals, the, the, the race pickup. How pronounce race pickup? Yes. How do, you, how do you spell it? R E R A I S E P P A C U C K S. One more time, pickups. Pickups, yes. Um, it's, uh, how, how do you how do you spell wait? How do you spell pickups? P E A C O C K S. Oh, okay, pickups. Yes, pick up. I know. Oh, only that. This is a good work. It's a it's a job. It's a job is so difficult to have pickups. So okay. difficult. Yeah, only that. This good is... job. Okay. Excellent. Thank okay. you. Uh, okay. the, la preposición adecuada para utilizar acá sería in, dentro de, okay, en la farm, okay. en la uh, in the farm. Farm, sorry, en la granja. Okay. In, in the form, I'm sorry. Okay. It's in the form. In the form. Okay. Okay. She okay. Has. Okay. She has a pickup, but that doesn't make sense. Okay. So we should say she races peacocks. Yes. She races, she races peacocks. This is a job. It's a. It's a. It's, a, it's good a hobby. Job. It's a, it's okay. a hobby. Yes. It's just a. a how the how say so difficult hobby, so difficult. It is a very difficult hobby. Okay. Yes. yes. Thank you. Okay. Bien. El punto de este ejercicio, chicos, es enfocarnos en la gramática y asegurarnos de que la estamos aplicando bien. Solo estoy tratando de refrescar conocimiento que ya deberías de poseer. Las terceras personas, oraciones afirmativas, se modifica el verbo con s e s o i e s. Okay. Google it. Find the rules, find the rules to modify the verbs. Excellent. Thank you. Um, hmm. Just one more and we move on with the topic. Okay. One more participant. Remember, you only have one minute. Solo tenés un minuto, so no dejes de hablar hasta que se te acabe el tiempo, okay? Suleima. Okay, ready? One, two, three. What is the question? What does I your can... mother do every day? Okay. Action. Um, okay. Um, my mother's name is Maria Elena. Uh, she lives with my brother and his wife. Uh, he wakes up really early. He, uh, she wakes up at 5 a.m. And she oh. likes uh, to watch all soap operas that she can. <laughs> and she likes uh, to watch a lot of video in YouTube about <laughs> craft and new recipes. Uh, and she likes to try uh, new recipes uh, to practice uh, 
for uh, when my father comes to the house. And she, she is around 69 years. And she comes to my house uh, to visit on weekend. Excellent. Okay. Good job. You made 11 sentences. <clears throat> okay. Good. Hmm. Okay. Main, main area of improvement. What do you think? Overthinking. Estás repensando lo que quieres decir. Don't do it. Just do it. Just do it. Like Nike. Just do it. Okay. You, you can speak very well. Okay. Let's see. He wakes up, but you corrected yourself. You corrected yourself saying she. Right? So that's good. A lot of video. Man, that's a lot of video. Two hours video? That's too long. It's a lot of video. Oh, but she watches a lot of videos on youtube he watches a lot of videos on youtube my mom is 69 years 69 years old or my mom is 69 she's very old my mom is 69 she's an elderly woman elderly she's an elderly like that my mom is 69 she's an elderly you got it Good? Yeah? Yes, sure. Thank you. Awesome. He notado un gran avance en tu lema. Super bien. Super, super, super bien. You still have the gringo boss? Or who was it? A co-worker? I can't remember. Um, I don't have any gringo. Oh, no. A Hindu. Hindu? You said you were talking to someone. IT, right? You were talking to the IT department. Yeah. Yeah. And there yeah, Hindu. two weeks ago. Yeah. Two, Are I you guess. still still working on that? Uh, but not with IT. I I try to practice with my co-workers in the in the plant mm -hmm. because I have a lot of co-workers that they are full English. <gasps> they speak full English. Really? Awesome. Always, guys, take advantage of any opportunity to speak English. Love it. Okay, so that's the point. I need to identify your areas of improvement so I can just help you in any possible way, okay? Simple as that. Okie dokie. Good job. Did you like to do that? How do you feel? I want to hear you. I like. You said good practice. practice yes. It's an amazing practice, but um, de ahora en adelante, okay. Eso solo era para que calentaran. De mañana empezamos a dividirnos y luego regresar, dividirnos otra vez en parejas. Okay, si alguien se queda solo con otro compañero que no puede encender el audio o el video, don't worry, I'll move you, okay? Sorry, Jury, you were alone. It's okay. Okay, so where were we? Where were we? What did you remember about the last class? Hello? Getting the right product is as important as getting the right place to sell the product, remember? How do you call this grammar topic? Okay. What's about comparing? Compare. Comparison. Mm -hmm. Equity. Equity. Comparison. Equity comparison. Comparisons of equity. Okay, that's right. Okay, it's better. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, so let's keep going, guys. Tonight, we have to continue with the next topic, 
Um, yep. So we need to talk about some R's, some R's in this topic. You know, what is an acronym? What is an acronym? Acronym is the uh, uh, phrases with, with the letter that a word starts. Right, it's a phrase um, where each letter means something, right? You got it. Okay, do you see the notebook? Do you see the book? Or is the screen gray? No, you got it right. Okay, so in this lesson, explain the relevance of the seven R's in logistic. Does anybody know about this? Have you heard about the seven R's in logistic? No, teacher. My okay. case. Is not. Okay, no. Again, Alex. Okay, so what are the rest? Okay, let's open the topic with two questions again. What are the responsibilities of a logistician? What do you think logistics? is about and we will continue with the same uh, approach the same technique show practice produce again show practice produce but this time i need caroline to explain us what is a logistician and what is logistics about Carolina. Hello. <laughs> uh, logistic about what do you think? Um, it is a process. Processes. Um, for example, in the company that I work, um, we give the service about tramits process give the transportations um, um even about all the documents the permissions um with between the client company the client um and aduana how do you say aduana Border. Um, so uh, even the companies um, ask for service and the cost, numbers, the time. Timing is important, uh, special with even the security. Uh, so in conclusion, there is a process that include um, almost everything, <laughs> documents. Okay. Okay, uh, so this process involves This process involves almost everything. Everything related to, related to um, what? The transit, right? Yeah. Okay, transit of uh, merchandise, right? Transit of merchandise, you have to deal deal with traffic, deal with routes. Cheat road. Come again, the center. Cheat road. City growth. Yeah, city growth. Road. Oh, come on. <laughs> Say no, that. No, shit, no, shit road. <laughs> Can you write it? Um, yeah, shit. shit. Yeah, paper yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah, I got you, huh? Road. 
this is the the logistic right create the the, the documentation oh you mean sheet work yeah it's not your road no road oh R -R route route R route uh, yeah. sheet route <laughs> What do you mean by shit route? What do you understand by shit route? Oh, the, 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 I got you, the route. The route yeah. that the drivers need to follow. Yeah. Okay. It's part the of. Map, like in the map. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, it has to do with that. But what does a logistician do? What are the responsibilities? Um, handle permissions, legal documentation. Hmm. How would you transfer the word logistician, the profession? Permission. Uh, logistic operator. Logistics operator. That, that sounds better, right? That sounds better. Logistics operator. A lot better. Okay. So, uh, what are its responsibilities? Are part of the responsibilities of a logistician to drive a truck? No. 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 Organize. Coordinate. Organize. Coordinate. Organize. Team the work, see the course, minimize the mistake, and supervising supervising what supervise the, the picking on the order or prepare the order they do all that wow okay good so these are the responsibilities what do you think logistics logistics is about as caroline said it's a Route sheet. Oh no, Alexander said that. Okay, is a route sheet creating the route sheet? Who does that? Who creates the route sheet nowadays? Okay, who creates the route sheet? Normally, it's a program teacher. Right nowadays. It's a GPS program, right? You just enter the addresses, you know, and ways, for example, ways. You put like five stops in a route and ways gives you who are you going to visit first, right? Yes, okay, perfect, yeah. That's what ways do. Okay. <laughs> Come on, guys, okay. So uh, let's talk now. What grammar tense are you going to use in these two questions? What is the grammar tense? Present. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot about the present si present simple teacher. I'm on intermediate four. <laughs> Come on. Yes, that's the present simple. Very good, guys. Tienen que practicar todo lo que ayer. No se olviden de practicarlo si no se les va a olvidar, okay? So this is very simple. Describe. What do you think a logistician do? Hey, what do you think? Hey, what do you think? Make questions, okay? Collaborate as a team to come up with an answer. I'll make you the questions when we come back again, okay? But first, one more time. It's nine o'clock already. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Okay. Ada Susana Caceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Carolina Ivette Romero Bellino. Present teacher. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Hey. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Hey. Junia Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present teacher. 
José Alberto Salas Benítez. Okay. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Okay. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Ok, René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Uh, yep, René is here. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Thank you. Suleyma Ivón Romero, uh, perdón, Moreno de Hernández. Present. Suleyma Ivonne, yeah, let's go. <laughs> sorry. I'm dyslexic <laughs> right now. I'm sorry. I'm very dyslexic for some reason today. Uh, Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Okay, guys. Okay. Hey, you didn't mention me. Uh, I don't want to mention you. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you for your honesty. <laughs> Yes, Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. That's it. Present. Yeah, you're the one, only one missing. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's do this together one more time. Practice, practice, practice with your classmates. Answer these two questions really quick. You can do it, guys. Come on. Okay, let's go. Question is, what, what are the responsibility of a logistician? And what do you think logistic is about? The responsibility of the, log the logistic is, uh, I think, uh, organize the thing, the world, uh, set goals, minimize, 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 minimize the mistake and plan and control the distribution and transportation and monitor and optimize the operation, the plant or the co-worker. And Monitor in the performance to reduce the time and the cost. Of the organize, organize, organize the route. The route. Route. Okay. What about the second question? Second question. Mm, what do you think logistics is about? <clears throat> what do you think logistics it's, is about? Is the as the professional um. The professional is the responsibility of the, 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 the complement. How do you say complement? He is responsible of complying. And this is possible they comply the plan, the logistics for the, the company, for the, the plant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but what are logistics? Mom. 
think about it. What are logistics? What do you think logistics is about? Man manage a product, a product life cycle. Paris. Okay, and next question. What do you think logistic is about, Erwin? For me, that's the, remember one thing, the customer never forgive, never forgive, never forgive. And for this one, you have to have a, a good logistic because the document, information and um, merchancy merchandise all, merchandise all the time had to be just on time just on time the most important the logistic is the object the logistic in every company because the end the customer never forgive oh. yeah? if you have a mistake or issues Never forgive you. Never. This is the most important logistic. And you will spend many money. You will spend money because uh, for to be for to have a good logistic, you need a software, you need a, a staff, a good per, a good staff, responsibility staff. Responsible staff. Responsible staff. Yes. This is the, the most important for me in the logistic. In, in this company. Um, for example, if you buy a something and the mer the market uh, the marketing try to call you by uh, social media marketing or advertising. And the price and the timing pass and the clients obviously is very upset about it because more cost must price. Mm. Repeat, the higher the cost? The higher the cost? The higher the price. The higher the price. Higher the cost, the higher the price. Hmm. Okay. Mm. And uh, and also the companies hire the the monitoring or monitoring systems or GPS. And there is a department um, this in time charge. in charge uh, in the company. So only that department can check the EPS? Uh, more, no, even the supervisors, um, in my case too, but it's not exactly, mm -hmm. it's not exactly my function. Um, the supervisor, <laughs> sometimes we, I ask to Alan because, uh, <laughs> We ask she, Alan, we ask Alan. Mm -hmm. We ask Alan, uh, but the monetary department uh, is the function all the time. Uh, every hour, two hours, um, uh, they do reports for every client. Hmm. Excellent. Okay, that's enough. Let's go back. Okay, I don't want to waste not even one second today. So let's keep going. How do you feel, Andres? What do you think about the topic? About these two questions? Uh, I, I find, I found 
something in Google mm -hmm. that it says a logistic agent might handle customer service as it relates to deliveries and schedule, ordering, tracking, planning, and reporting. Whenever a product must get from one location to another, someone plans the logistics, including transportation and scheduling. Transportation mm -hmm. and scheduling. scheduling. Mm -hmm. But back in the days, back in the days, um, we used to do that by hand, you know. I, I I just don't know. I I can't figure out. I can figure out how did we survive? How were we able to live without the GPS, without internet? You know, I don't know. Huh? Don't you feel? Don't you feel like that? Using stars. Oh, you see the stars, you got it. How do you call that device, Mr. Google? How do you call the device to measure the distance with the stars? Device. I don't, I don't even know the name in Spanish. Oh, wait, wait. cartographer, right? No, no, no. Yeah, is that a cartographer? No, no, no. Oh, come on, teacher, how old are you? How I can, old are you? I'm like almost 40, Haiti, but... Then you are, uh, you could live without, without all of this stuff. Yeah, I know, I know. But nowadays, we, let's be honest. I mean, I use ways to come from 93 Avenida in Escaló to, to Mexicanos because of the traffic to find the best route. And it works. It works. Not today. Today didn't work because I left the academy. And it made me do a turn around the block. It made me do a turn around the block. And I was like, why, why, why am I, why am I turning? If I can just turn left and it's the same thing, like, like, okay. <laughs> so okay, so how do you call that thing? How, how do you say nomenclatura? Oh, oh my God, I have no idea. Because if you know the nomenclatura of the streets, you can easily find almost any address. I hate nomenclatura. Nomenclatura. Nomenclatura, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's nomenclatura. Yeah. yeah, it is nomenclatura. That's an odd name, but yeah. For example, there are like three Calle Independencia in San Salvador. I mean, uh, anyways. Yeah, I never liked it. Uh, so that I heard someone saying, oh, Carolina was saying, that's out of my scope of support. That's out of my responsibilities. I'm sorry, that's out of my scope of support. Don't say that, guys. I mean, no, in general, in general, not because Carolina said it, you know, but I don't know, some, some employees go like, oh, no, that's not my responsibility. I'm not supposed to plan the route, I'll just use the GPS and that's it. Okay, a good taxi driver is a great logistician, don't you think? But there are other considerations. I, I like, Irwin was talking about the weight, the weight that you're carrying, what kind of products you're carrying. A good logistician knows about um, the quality of the product in terms of transportation, right? Timing, timing. Mm -hmm. That's it's logistics is all is all about timing. If we were saying it's true, right? It's very important. Okay, so hey, uh, do you all have a delivery guy at work? Raise your hand, put an emoji on your on your screen. Put an emoji on your screen. Do you have a, a, a just um, a mailman, uh, delivery guy, you know, how do you want to call it? Do you? We do. You do? Yeah, you have to, you have more than one. A lot. A lot of them. 
Yeah, there is a an, um, there is an enterprise that that distributes the the mail every day. And all they're the all bikes. and all of them just buy inner branches, inner branches, inner departments. Mm. Mail mm -hmm. every yeah. day. There's a mailman in every department. Wow. But do, do they all use bikes? No. 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 They use little, little, little trucks. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's funny. Okay. Awesome. What about you, Andres? Does the whole, the whole town, I mean, the, the town hall has any uh, mailman? No, teacher. No? Uh, but uh, there are companies that, uh, how to say, that works sure. with the, Take okay. care of. For example, uh -huh. Mailroom, Urbano Express, and oh, those yeah. companies. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's true. Uh, yes. Uh, the companies and the National Post Service. National Post, post Service. Service. Yes. Okay. The, El Salvador the Post Office. office. Yes. If you want to receive it next year. <laughs> no, they have a good service. Actually, really? they, actually Maybe. they are they are very efficient. Really? Actually, they're very oh. efficient. No, it's English. English. Efficient. Actually, they're very efficient. Very efficient. Maybe they have a service in four days. Oh, of course, okay. they have different services. Uh, regular or standard? Standard delivery. Fifth, five days delivery. Uh, second day delivery. Express delivery, right? Some something like that. Okay. Okay, okay. Hey, the United States is going crazy because in three days is what what happens in three days? This coming Thursday. What is it? Uh oh. Guys, hello. She come back. She come back. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Alexander, como que she come back? Well, I think you got an idea. You got the idea of the delivery service, right? Okay. I was telling you, what happens in three days? Four, maybe four. What is it? Day before, no. he said. Uh, what are you talking about? In the <laughs> United States, what's going to happen on this Thursday? In three days. Oh. Right? Ah, yeah. Ah, we got Thanksgiving. 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 Holiday. Thanksgiving. It's a holiday in the United States. In the United States, postal service is crazy right now. Yeah. They are taking like 21 days to deliver something. What normally, normally they take seven to ten business days, two weeks. Right now is a whole month. Twenty-one business days. But sometimes you cannot wait that long. No, of course. I mean, it all depends on the product, right? The type of delivery that you want or you need. Okay. They, that occurs for every every business. Yeah. For example, if you buy something on Amazon, you are you, they are going to take this time to deliver that pro the problem. Are you asking me? Yes. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I, I think so. Well, Amazon, they use UPS. UPS is more efficient. Uh, DHL, FedEx. Well, FedEx. Mm -hmm. Not much, but UPS is very efficient. 
because they say that they can deliver in two days, but I don't know if that is going to occur in that in that holiday, because in that day is good find a good moment to buy something because they they give uh, sometimes a good meltdown. Are you talking about the Black Friday? Yes. How much? Yeah. Oh my God! You just made me thought about something. Okay. There's a lot of things we need to buy. Anyways, let's keep going, guys. Now, on the next stage, the next the next task, we have our lecturing. We have a reading here. I'm gonna read it for you again. Uh, just pay attention. Try to practice by yourself. Eh, chicos, me escuchan entrecortado. No, teacher. No, oh, teacher. No. It's okay. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Sales will go down this month, Pam. There was a problem with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution channels. Centers, right distribution centers. Oh no. Please call the managers from the distribution centers that received our batteries, our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature, temperature. I already did, I already did. But there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. Damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. They will know what to do. Okay, any new words or new pronunciation? Crates. Crates. Let's start learning to read in context. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. So if the batteries got damaged because the crate was not handled correctly, what could it be? Container or something like that? It is a sort of container, Mr. Google, get ready. Uh-huh, what is it? Someone else. Sorry. Oh, what? Correctly. Right, it's a container. But what kind of container? I don't call it. You know, teacher, sometimes, I search a word on the translator and it doesn't work, okay? It just doesn't work. It gives me multiple options, oh, okay? When I go to Google Translate, it gives me multiple options for the same word, okay? Go to images and type the word. See what's the result? Oh, we're talking about shipping, right? Oh. How do you call this thing in Spanish? Contenedor. Is that a container? Hmm. Box. It's box. a box. Um, what else can you describe it? Uh -huh. In the game, the crates uh, are the, for example, the when you open the place, uh, a lot of things out. Uh, a lot of called? things come out. Come out uh -huh. from so, these crates. Mm -hmm. So these are wooden crates. Wooden crates. Will, might there be any other type of crates? We, we just made our chimney. We just made our chimney in the house with this, with a crate. We bought the crate for five dollars and we built our chimney 
out of the wood, out of the wood we got. <laughs> and it was amazing, it was amazing. Have you decorated your house? No. No? Okay, it's something like this, I don't know how to describe it, but it was a, a nice exercise to build something with the kids, you know, something like that. <laughs> It is better. I, I will share. I will share later my the picture of the of the chimney. It's beautiful. Okay. Any other the pronunciation of this word, Fernando? Correctly. Yeah. Wow. Bad it is. Bad it is. You got it. Bad it is. No, no, no. I'm just asking you to pronounce it. Bad it. Bad it. Very good. Okay. Don't forget the ed endings, guys. Received. Received. Okay. Hey, someone? William? Handle. Yeah. Damaged. You got it. Good, Alex. Yeah, William again? Um, this is one of the uh, phrases was not handled. Yeah, I think it's okay in the lane. I down, yeah, down handle. Oh, down below handle, uh huh. You say damaged, 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 damaged. Da or de? De. Damaged. Damaged. Perfect. You got it. Good, William. Okay, let me split you so you can practice just for five minutes with a classmate. Read and repeat, read and repeat multiple times. Five minutes and we come back, okay? So we want to the next topic. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Cuando están con este humor me recuerdan a mi hijo menor. Cuando le doy una orden me dice, está bien. Si lo vieran, lo amarían. Es negrito, colochito y unos rojotes. Café. Azules. No, nah, café. Yeah. I'm going to have a lot of trouble with that guy, you know, with the girls. Oh, my God. See it coming. Let's go. Erwin, <laughs> René, Roberto, let's go. Vision centers. Oh no, please call the managers from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temper temperature. Uh, I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are the much damaged. I will call them personally personally to request for for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Cambiamos hoy. Handled. Handled. Uh, mm. And uh, it's not no, no, no. Uh -huh. it's, it's uh, handled, handled. perfect handled handled now damaged 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 you got it damaged damaged okay now erwin start okay it will be alex so, okay thank you so we go down this month Huh. There was a problem with the order from, from from the website and the products were not delivered to be to the right distribution centers. Oh no. Please call the managers from the distribution centers that received our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. Already did. 
but this is something I have to tell to tell you. One of the best batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. Manufacturer, uh -huh. they will know what to do. It's crates, right? Crates. Crates. Uh -huh. okay. Manufacturer. Uh -huh. Crates. Okay. Next couple. Uh -huh. And Johnny. Okay, I am Alex. <laughs> Sales will go down this month, fan. There was a problem with the order form from the website and the product were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the managers for the distribution center that received our batteries. We had to inform then of the right store temperature. I already did, but there is something I had to tell you. One of the greatest, is it greatest? What's not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. Then I will call the personality to request for the damage. Bye. Deliver to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the managers from the distribution centers that to receive the or batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crap, what is the greatest, was not handled correctly. Right. And the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally. Who will come call to receive the damaged product? Mm -hmm. Who will come to receive? Who will come call to receive the damaged products? Okay. <clears throat> Going to start again. The, manag the managers. Um, I'm going to be Alex. Okay. Sales will go down this month. Pam, there was a problem with the oil. Jocelyn, today was my second day in the floor, on the floor. And are you want to quick? Because you mentioned last night that if yeah. you had the opportunity to go back to the side, you will pick. Yeah. The COVID I met my boss. And my boss is a jerk. I want to quick too, but it's not because I, I, I am going to go to the sizes because I don't want to be there. I don't know. I am thinking I don't have anything right now, but improve your English. Improve your English. Improve your English. The only thing that is a lie that 
I can stay there is because of these classes. And believe me, but it's not for something else. But yeah. I don't know. I am thinking. I don't have any another Wait. job right now, but you're thinking. No. But thinking. It, it is no 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 thinking. Thinking. Uh, no, come on. Actually, <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah it makes sense. Hang in there. Hang in there. Don't lose hope. And then you can do it. Okay, guys. So something that I'm noticing is that we have a huge area of improvement with guess what? Final sum. Final song, the, the easy ending, guys. Easy ending. Delivered. Yeah. Hey, Claro is having problems with the internet. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I just ran a test. I just ran a test on my computer, and it's very low. I normally I have 40 gigabytes. Now I'm having 17. And there's what? no, yeah, and there's no upload speed. There's no upload right now. That's why, I don't know. Do you see a lagging? Yes. Yes. Sometimes. Yes. Sometimes. Sometimes. I'm stuck. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. You are downloading something. No, no, no. I, I still have Tigo. <laughs> I still have Tigo, so I'll connect to Tigo in a second. Okay, so look at the conversation. Can you grab, grab a sticker? Okay, everybody grab a sticker or draw on the screen. Underline the past verbs underline the past verbs on the reading okay give me just one minute i'll just hook up a cable <laughs> one, two, one, two, one, two. No me digan que estaban escuchando la gritadera que tenía. Now we're with Figo. Okay. Keep going. Anyways. So let's see. Was. Okay. Where. Now. Delivered. 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 Second rule. Delivered. Okay. Delivered. Uh huh. Perfect. Received. 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 Is a is a V a D sound, not a T. -t. No. Received. Right. Okay, I already received. 
Ajá, pero más, más corta, Alexa. Received. Received. There you go. Received. Received. You got it. Was. Again, handled. 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 Siempre se suena la D minúscula, Alexa. Handled. Like Haiti. Listen. Listen to Haiti. Handled. Mm -hmm. Sounds better. Haiti, can you say damaged? Damaged. Got it. Damaged. Okay. Practice. Practice it again, guys. We have to keep going. Uh, the last topic, which was the class topic, is about the seven R's. I'm just going to skip the questions or let's do them really quick. What cost, <laughs> what cost the products to be delivered to the wrong distribution center? What happened? Oh. What happened? Why do, were, the wrong, were the products delivered to the wrong distribution centers? Problem with the farms. A problem with the website farms. Mm. Action. The order forms. Oh, from the website. Ah, okay. There was a problem with the order forms from the website. Oh, okay. And okay. What happened to their products? What happened to the products? were not delivered. No. One of the yeah. crates was not uh -huh. correctly and the batteries are damaged. By the way, just say crates. 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 Okay, crate, crates. Okay, who will Pam call to receive the damaged product? Yes. Manager. Manufacturer. The manufacturer. Okay. Easy. Okay, guys, the seven R's. This is something uh, very common. Okay. Well, we're, let me read this. One of the most popular concepts of the logistics management is the concept of the seven R's. Right product right place, right customer, right quantity, right condition. For me, the most important, right time to, and the right price. So product, place, customer, quantity, condition, time, and price. So let's go together. Let's do this together, shall we? Just the number one. Amazon must ensure products are delivered within two days. If the customer can get it within two days from some other company. Okay. All right, time. Come back, come again. Hit right time. Time. Hmm. Right, right condition. Right condition. Oh. Listen, they must ensure products are delivered within two days. Why? The customer can get it within two days from some other company. Hmm. So in other words, they ship, they ship out of the closest city where you live. Right place. Right place. Right place. Right. Hmm. Right place. I'm going with uh, Haiti at this time, but let's check the others. Okay. So that just like that, read each one of the descriptions and find sense to it. We only have 15 minutes for this activity. Let's do it the together. Walmart has strict control in process to ensure the product order on the website are delivered to the right location, right place. 
please. Yes. You got it, Johnny. Okay, let's do this together as a team. I'm gonna split you one last time quick so we can do this together, okay? Let's go. Hola René, no sé si me escucha, si me escucha, por favor, conéctese a su grupo. Days. The customer. If the customer can get it within two days for some other company. Other company. Right condition. Oh. For me, it's the right place because uh, Amazon do that because they have many warehouse for many countries. And that way, uh, for example, see you are going to buy something in, from one state, they are going to find the, the warehouse near to that place. Mm. But I don't know. Maybe it can be right time. Closest, the closest what store. Time. Sorry, the closest. 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 Mm -hmm. That is the strategy that they have. Strategy. Strategy. And then let's say this in the, in the next better. <laughs> <That can't be. laughs> they must have strict control and process to ensure that the product or the To right place. Yep, I was thinking about number two, the right place. Right place, okay. Number three, for me, the right quantity. Yeah. Yeah. Two. Okay. Right. Uh, right. A local cage. What is local cage? Condition. Yeah. Number four may be right conditions. Right. Five right price. Price. Right price for Samsung. Mm -hmm. Right customer. Right product. Right product. Mm -hmm. Number five. Which one? Number six. Mm -hmm. 
right bro number six mm -hmm. That look like a right quantity. So we will say here that their models are showing the corresponding prices to the retail the restaurant consumer. Right condition. Which one? The number five. Yes, the Samsung. Right. Mm, the number five, I guess, is right, right the, customer. Right customer. I think right customer uh, is the number six. Mm, yes, the same as. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yes, so the six is right customer. And what about the last one? Can we answer the last one? And then we will see who has a sufficient amount of product available in the warehouse to ensure right time to deliver to customer. Quite close. Right, uh, no. The last one could be Okay, and say, are available in the warehouse to ensure right time delivery to customer. Right condition. Right condition, I was thinking, yes. So the five must be a right price. Yes. Number five. I will see. Oh, he's he's in here. <laughs> Hey, what do you think about? Let's see, the right products. Um, Amazon ensures products are delivered within two days if the customer can get it within two days from some other company. So they have to ensure. Place, they must have strict controls and processes to ensure the products order in their website are delivered to the right locations. Mm. Right location. <laughs> right place. Rosers has to meet quantity requirements from their customers and ensure that the quality, the quantity of the product is not affected by perishability. Perishability. Mm. Yeah, I think this, just because it's a spiritability has to do with, ooh, what is that here? Right product, right product. A local ketchup manufacturer may sell ketchup retailers, so retailers in package, packaged and labeled bottles into a bulk customer from big cans. Right product. Is it that that's right product? Okay. 
their models are charged with the corresponding prices to the retailers, stores, and customers. Yes, price. Products that the customer needs either today or in the future. Mm. Okay. I would have said right product there. We will study this with more uh, time. It's very interesting and there's very similar vocabulary on each option, right? It's a little bit confusing. Yeah. Right, customer, yeah, time, food. It's warranty that sufficient amounts of products are available in the warehouse to ensure right time delivery to customers. Time, totally. You know what? You're right. Very good. You're right on love them. Let's go back. Okay. Okay. All right, let me see in four minutes. Let's try to do this in two. Let's just get the answers. By the way, tonight I'm staying with Heidi and Tony Salvador de Rivas for 10 minutes. Do you have 10 minutes, Heidi? Sure, teacher. <laughs> Thank you. You thought about it. No, it's that I was, I was mute. Okay, I was muted. That's why I was going like, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, let's see. Uh, what will be number one then? What did you decide upon? What? So number one, what is number one? Amazon must ensure products are delivered within two days. Are you uh, teacher? We, we are watching your list. Yeah. What? <laughs> Change the screen. <laughs> it's the internet. It's the internet. I'm sorry. The Amazon must ensure products are delivered two days. Right product. Okay. Uh, number one. Amazon must ensure products are delivered within two days if the customer can get it within two days from some other company. Right product. Uh, right place. Right, or right. right time. <laughs> oh, come on, great quality. <laughs> I I sure about my answer because the, the platform are are the the, oh. the options I, I Mr. I, Google, I, that's cheating. Google, yeah, <laughs> it's like a little As ever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what, guys? We will cover this part tomorrow because it is already ten o'clock. Yeah. Um, René, I don't know if you can hear us. Well, guys, uh, great. Thank you for completing the platform. Remember, you can do the exercises as many times as you need if you want to improve your score. If you want to do it, just re retake the um, evaluations. That's very simple. Whatever you have time, okay? Uh, where are you? Here you are. Okay, attendance one last time and I'm staying with Haiti just for a few minutes.
Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher, good night. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Carolina Ibed Romero Belino. Present, good night. Good night. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present, good night. Good night. Heidi Eugenia Salguera de Rivas. Present. Irene Susana Guayer Albanés. Present. You, Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher, good night. Good night, José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present, good night. Good night. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Luis Ernesto Romero Olgueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Omeñorellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Yeah. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Good night. Present and good night. Good night, Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Good night. And good night, Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Arca. Present. Good night. Good night. Queda aquí. How are you tonight? I'm fine. Thank you. I'm I'm really excited. About what? Because I I already achieved most of my goals this month. So this month or do you mean on sales? This month. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Congratulations. That's going to be a good Christmas bonus. Yes, I was thinking on that, but since since on December we have a um, uh, revaluation of, of, of the taxes. Recalculo, I don't know how to say it. Yeah, re, 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 they, they say retaxing, but yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. It's not that good. Uh, they discount me about about one thousand six hundred in taxes. They discounted you. Discounted, mm -hmm. discounted. Really? A lot of money. I know. Um, two years ago, I paid like three hundred dollars. It's a lot of money, and that's because I wasn't working in a call center. I was working on professional services on. Mm -hmm. But remember, we got uh, the the December bonus mm -hmm. in December, so that's why. It's for money to pay. Hey, I'm trying to find um, a visa advisor, an immigration advisor, because we want to get the visas with my wife, you know, mm -hmm. but we, we don't know if we should do it. it of course, it's just a touristic visa. To go and visit. I was her. going to ask you why you don't live with your mother. No, I have never been to the States. But really? lately, no, I've never been out of El Salvador. Well, once I went to Guatemala to pick okay. her up. When she came here for the first time in 2004 during Katrina, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. she was on the seventh floor of a building. Mm -hmm. oh, just, just hanging there. Yeah, she got really scared for Gordita, but she's fine. She's okay. She's really strong. I mean, she has lupus, you know, uh, mm -hmm. the diabetes, all kinds of stuff, but she's okay. I mean, she's always strong, you know, fighting. Now she's okay, but you know, time passes by. Time passes. Because to need you. Mm -hmm. I know, but it's really hard, you know. She left when I was six, so I got used to living without her. Mm -hmm. uh, and the relationship 
has always been tangling you know. I totally oh, understand. My mom left when I was six months old. Oh my God, that's even worse. Mm -hmm. She doesn't remember her. No, I met her when I was about six years. Oh, at least. Uh huh. And when my daddy passed away, she took us to the U.S. and we did we didn't get along. Really? Mm hmm. Hmm. Do you do you get I along with her now? No, she already passed too. Really? I'm she sorry. got cancer. Wow. Mm -hmm. In 2008. Did she get married? Yeah, with an Egyptian guy. What? One. Mm -hmm. When we were living with her, he didn't allow us to, to even look at, at a boy. <laughs> wow. These so guys he, are really. He, yeah, he tried to raise you. Yeah, but we couldn't get along. Oh, okay. And we came back. Hmm. Well, things happen for a reason. Uh -huh. So I, I don't know. We don't know if we should go for the visa, touristic visa, just for the two of us or for the whole family, you know, like the five visas at once. I don't know. I'll ask my sister and I'll text. write you. I'll ask my sister, okay? She knows and a lot about visas. Text me if you have someone who knows. Okay. And I started international relations, but I already forgot. <laughs> Think, and really? things, things are different now. Things are different yeah, I know. Now with the embassy, did you hear that they let go the uh, the ambassador of El Salvador? Yeah, I know. I mean, yeah. yeah, I was I was watching news today morning, and and uh, Jean May said that if government doesn't show any interest in, on 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 having business with the U.S., then they're not interested either. So. Mm -hmm. Things are getting complicated, right? I wonder who are they going to assign? I don't know, maybe. But do you know what? It's maybe. just the previous ambassador, uh, Mary, Mary, I can't remember her name, but she was Cuban. She, mm -hmm. was, an Ameri she was an American. Um, it's true. I mean, a requirement to be an ambassador is to speak at least you know, Spanish and English. In our case, in Latin America, right? But that woman, mm, she was a Cuban. She didn't like us. I, I don't know. I had that feeling. I saw her once. And I, have you ever been in this situation where you meet someone and it's like, uh, I don't know, I don't like her. It's really odd. Mm -hmm. So the point is that why don't they assign a real American like the last one we had? Uh, because the last one, uh, he wasn't, uh, he wasn't objective. He oh. got, he, uh, he, the friendship between him and the president didn't let him do his job. Oh. That's why. And the same thing has been told about this last ambassador that is living now, but in the other way around. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the, the FMI, the, the FMI, you know, mm -hmm. they, they just rate us in good conditions, that's what they said. I don't know, it's, it's just information from one end, from an international source, and then information from national sources, and it's like bouncing around in all confusing. kinds of information. It's mm -hmm. confusing. I think we have to have our own criteria, right? And work, 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 work. There's another way around. Exactly. You know that rumors only damage economy. It's true. Mm -hmm. it's so true. What do you think about Bitcoin City? It's the future. It's the future. Yeah. In the future, I guess we're not going to use cash mm. like we do now. But do you mean worldwide? Worldwide? Worldwide. Mm -hmm. I think so too. You know what I don't like? Um, I'm, I'm a Catholic. Very Catholic, um, catecumeno. Mm -hmm. I think it's about For twenty years, with no way, twenty three years, I've gone to Camino. But my mother in law goes to a Christian church, and they have this prophecy that the world is going to end. That before the world ends, 
there will be a lot of abundance. And have you noticed how many people is becoming rich with these virtual coins? It's true. It's true. I met this boy who is uh, uh, 23 tour? years old and he gained $66,000. A month. Investing on, on, on not just Bitcoin. Yeah, multiple. The rest of, of, of virtual coins. Everybody's mm -hmm. investing in that. Uh, uh, anyway. And I told um, him, hey, buy a house. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Hey, Why but, not? It's, if I it's know. not prohibited, it's a... Yeah, I wonder. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, hear. good. Yeah, went off and on. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, but a bank, can a bank loan you money, give you money? If you cannot prove where the money is coming from. That's the problem. He has to prove it. He has to prove it. Every transaction. That, that's the difficult part. Anyways. Yeah, but he, but he has every transaction. And that's exactly what we're doing with Bitcoin, right? Now, mm -hmm. whoever accepts Bitcoin, so I can buy a house with Bitcoins. Mm -hmm. wow. Exactly. Wow. You so see, cash, cash, as we know it these days, is going to disappear. That's what I think. <sighs> Let's see what happens. Okay. Hey, it's nice talking okay. to you. Text nice me. To Text you. me about your sister. I really need that information. We're okay. really planning. <laughs> Take That'd care. Be nice. Good night. Good night, teacher. Take care.